Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Solve Gaming and today we are back in Ghost of Tsushima. Today I am going to be showing you how you can farm for every single material for Ghost of Tsushima. Starting from supplies, predator hides, silk and everything else will be included in this video. But of course, if you guys only came here for a certain material, you can check the description box down below or the pinned comment to get into the minute where I start talking about the respective material. But before that, of course, if you are new to this channel, I did do a full playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima here in the channel. So if you guys want to check it out, you can check it out on the top right of your screen right now. There's the playlist. You can watch it all and maybe leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you also find this video helpful. And one more thing is I am also doing this video while I am playing the new game plus mode. But don't worry, there will be no spoilers and if there will be any spoilers, I will give you a warning of maybe like a 5 second window before I show you what the spoiler is. But as I said, today I am going to be showing you how you can farm for every single material in Ghost of Tsushima. So without wasting any more time, let's start the farming method. Alright guys, so first of all, before you start farming, make sure that you have already completed the Arrow Peak Shrine that you can find right over here. And it's basically just all the way down from the Golden Temple. It's straight down if you haven't found the location. Go straight down from the Golden Temple and you will find this Arrow Peak Shrine. This will give you the charm for Charm of Inari, which is this one. And this basically just increase or give you a bonus while you're collecting supplies, predator hides, bamboo, and you wood from your exploration. And if you're a still a new player that wants to get all your upgrades as soon as possible, then I recommend you to have this charm equipped at all times in every armor that you wear. Alright, so first of all, I am going to show you how you can farm a lot of supplies. There are going to be a few spots where you can farm these supplies, but the first spot that I am going to show you guys is right over here, a little bit close to the old Azabo Cliffs and near the Survivor Camp. It's not far from where you get the Charm of Inari, which is the Arrow Peak Shrine right over here. It's a little bit more down, like right around there. And once I get there, I'm going to show you how you can farm the supplies. Alright guys, so welcome back. And this is going to be the place where I show you how you can farm for supplies. As I said, the place is close to the old Azamo Cliffs that you can see the writing. It's a little bit above that and also near a survivor camp if you need a close fast travel point. And now I'm going to show you how you can farm over here. Before that, I already did this farm spot a lot of times, so when you go here for the first time, you might realize that there are a few Mongols. You can clear them all, it doesn't matter whether you kill them all or you leave some, but usually also some Mongols do respawn, so if they do respawn, then just kill them again, and now you can start the farming. Now, how do you farm here? The first of all, there are three chests that you can loot. The first chest is right over here. Once you get in, you just need to go straight and basically right over here, you can find the chest and you can collect it. Once you have collected that, go to the two camps or tents, which is right over here. It doesn't matter in which one you go in first, but as long as you go in one of them, there you go, you have the chest. And that is the second chest in this place. And now go to the other camp right over here and there you go there's another chest for you to get a bunch of supplies on and as i said make sure you have the charm of inari equipped so as you can see right there i gained a seven extra supplies after i collected the 24 and now once you're done with that all you need to do to make those chests respawn is just go to the options menu restart from your last checkpoint and there you go now i just restarted the chest have also been replenished now you can just collect this again and go to the other camp right over here and then go back to the shore to get the other chest right over here this is not the best supplies farming method there are a little bit better places for you to farm but 
if you have completed those places and because those places need you like a little bit of special treatment like if you have destroyed the place or completed it then those farm methods won't be available for you but this right here will be available whether you have completed the game all the way until the last island or whether you are still on the very first island like I am. Alright, so that is the first place where you can find supplies from. And as you can see, right here, the chests have already replenished. And you can basically keep looting these chests forever. Now, I'm going to be showing you another spot that is better, but also kind of a little bit risky. Because if you have already completed this place, then this will not be available for you. You can find this camp a little bit close to the golden temple and there is a fox den right over here if you need a quick fast travel point. Now all you need to do is you need to go there and then I will show you guys how you can farm on that spot. Alright guys so I have just arrived in the Russian water crossing camp and all you got to do after you spawn here or arrive here. You only need to go through the base because there will be dead bears, two dead bears that you can kill. Sometimes they're alive, sometimes the mongol haven't killed them for you, but that's all you gotta do. You just need to get those predator hides, and then if you want the supplies, you can sell those predator hides. And why did I say this is a better spot? Because one predator hide sells for 10 supplies, so basically every time you come here, there are two bears, and if you wear the charm of Inari, you can basically get about 20 predator hides per run. So, 200 supplies per basically a run, which honestly doesn't even take a long time. Like right here, sometimes the bear is still alive. The Mongols will also help you kill them, so that's a good thing. And you might think, shouldn't you kill the Mongols? No. If you kill the Mongols and complete the camp, as I said, this farm method will be impossible for you to try. Oh, I uh, accidentally assassinated that guy. As you can see right here, loot the predator hides. There you go. And this is basically a two-in-one farming spot that you can keep repeating all the way until you think you have enough predator hides. This spot is really good for you guys still in the early game trying to upgrade your bow quiver. Basically everything from your kunai and everything to have max capacity. So this is a great one. Oh, I missed a bear about that. Sorry. As you can see, you can get like 20 predator hides, which is amazing for a run that basically I don't think takes about um, one minute. I don't think it really takes that long because all you gotta do is, as I said, restart from your checkpoint and then loot the bear and then keep repeating until you think you have enough. So yeah, if you want to get predator hides and supplies, this is the best place you can get it. The Russian water crossing camp to get the predator hides you need. And if you don't need the predator hides, you can sell them at a trapper that you can find in any survivor camp. There will be trappers in every single one of them. So just go to them and sell your predator hides. Those are the two supplies farm techniques that I am going to be showing you for today. Flowers, on the other hand, though, I don't think anyone really want to see a farm spot for them. If you really do, then you can just click the right on your D-pad and then search for the undiscovered flowers and then keep tracking them with the guiding wind. But I'm not going to show you because I don't think anyone wants to see that. And the next thing for the goods is the predator hides. There are no other places I find that is a good predator hide farm spot other than the rushing water crossing. So if you have completed this camp, then maybe you just need to kind of explore around because bears and boars are everywhere. And later on, because I am still on the first island, I haven't really unlocked the second island. Well, I did a few of them, but starting from the second island, I believe the guards will also have patrol dogs, Mong Mongol dogs that you can hide, that you can kill to get some more predator hides. So yeah, that so yeah, that's basically how you can get predator hides in the game. Alright, the next thing I am going to be showing you guys is how you can farm bamboo and you wood on the same time. So one spot kind of same like the rushing water crossing where you can get supplies and predator hides basically in one run. This is going to be the place where you can get you wood and bamboo immediately. And the place, you might already know it, but it is also the place where you can get the Inari or Charm of Inari, the Arrow Beak Shrine. 
all you got to do on this spot is first of all of course fast travel to the arrow peak shrine because well you have completed it and i'm sorry because this night time and it's kind of dark but all you got to do is just follow the road and then go to the left side until you kind of see this broken bridge right over here all right so this is the broken bridge that i am talking about it is right over here after you make a turn and you don't want to go to the broken bridge instead you want to go to the left side here i have max bamboo so i'm sorry i cannot loot the bamboo for you but all you gotta do is keep jumping and then you can also find another bamboo right over here you can climb up and here you can find some yu wood that i can collect and there you go, that is how you find bamboo and you wood very easily. And as I said, all you gotta do for every single one of these after you completed it is restart from your last checkpoint. And there you go, I have restarted and right up here, the yu wood has also restarted. But there is one sad thing about this farm spot is as you can see right there, I did not get an extra for collecting the yu wood even though I have the charm of Inari equipped. I don't know if this is a bug in this game, but if you collect bamboos, you would supplies while you're in a basically shrine that you can find everywhere because that's where you can find a lot of different charms. You do not get the bonus from the charm of Inari. So same thing with the bamboos. Again, I have full bamboo, but hold on to my word that of course, while you restart from your last checkpoint, don't worry, the bamboo will also replenish. But of course, if you guys think this is kind of a tedious one because, well, you don't get the bonus, don't worry because bamboo and yu wood are everywhere in this island. Like literally everywhere. While you're exploring, there's no way, no way that you cannot find bamboo and yu wood at all. There will be everywhere while you're exploring the island. So don't worry if you think you don't want to try out that farm spot that I just showed you. The next thing is wax wood. Now, Waxwood, there isn't really any particular farm spot that you can do. The only place where you can get Waxwood is by completing shrines. That's right, there's no farm method whatsoever for this material. And all you gotta do is just search for shrines in the game and then complete it. And then there you go, as you can see, there are Waxwood. If you guys are wondering what those ghost flowers are, um, yeah, as I said, I am playing on the New Game Plus mode, so that's what I get for basically a bonus for every activity that I do in the new game plus mode. But back on topic, there's also one special thing for every shrine. After you complete each shrine, you will get one wax wood. Now we all know that, so that's not important. But the important thing is, I don't have the audacity to say that it's on every shrine, but on most shrines that I have visited, there will be another wax wood laying around. Sometimes while you're honoring the shrine, you will have like um, basically a 360 kind of thing and then you can see like there's a hidden waxwood behind the shrine or maybe there's a hidden waxwood on the way to the shrine that you missed because those waxwood plants, they look absolutely alike like the you would. So I think the game is trying to like trick you on maybe, oh no, that's just a you would. Uh, I have a farm spot for it or I don't need it so you're not going to come for it. But no, always come to, for them because there might be a chance that your eyes didn't see correctly and then apparently you just missed out on a wax wood. So that is half of all the resources in the game next to the ones that you might think are the hardest to get. First of all, linen, leather, and silk. I am going to be starting with the silk and this thing doesn't have any farm spot at all like the wax wood and also the gold later on. You can only get silk from completing tails with um, Sensei Ishikawa, Lady Masako, Yuna, and basically Tales of Tsushima. So as you can see here, in the Tales of Tsushima, like that, the Dreams of Conquest with Sensei Ishikawa, you can get silk from a lot of these guys. Alright guys, so that is basically how you can get silk and everything else in the game. Now I'm going to be telling you how you can get steel, iron, linen, and leather, and also gold all in one go. So first of all, I am going to be starting with gold. Gold is basically only exclusive to these big Mongol camps all around the island. 
Usually, I believe there are only three on the Chapter 1 island, which is the logging base right over here, the logging camp right over here, and also because I am playing the new game plus, the I believe there is also a shipyard somewhere around here that also gives you gold after you complete it. There are no farming spots available to my knowledge for gold, so that is basically how you can get it. If you want to get it, then all you need to do is complete those kind of camps and of course, yes, there will be even more of them on the chapter 2 and chapter 3 island. Oh, and also if you want to get some more gold, yes, you can also do this, which is liberating Ogawa Dojo. I missed this the first time, which is right over here a little bit above the Golden Temple. And now, let's talk about back to where I was saying, which is metal materials and cloth materials, leather, linen, iron, and steel. These materials are absolutely infinite amount if you just keep playing the game and completing Mongol territories. You can find them everywhere in Mongol territories, but if you think and you already completed chapter 1, but think that, oh no, I basically cannot get back into Castle Canada. There is a trick, there is a trick that you can use to get back into Castle Canada because this is basically a secret trick that I find out and I also find it out on the internet is if you have any loot that you missed while your first time or second time on Castle Canada, you cannot return. Because right here, as you can see, the gates is completely and tightly shut or is it? Now there is a trick how you can get through the door. All you need to do is get your mount and the explosive arrow ability. All you need to do to get back into Castle Shimura is get a little bit part of the back of your mount into the other side of the gate. Alright, so to do this trick exactly, you might need a few bit of tries because it's a little hard to get the back of your horse to basically kind of glitch through the door. But once you kind of get it right, all you need to do is get your explosive arrow and bow out and shoot your horse, not really your horse, but shoot the ground right below it, and bam, there you go, as you can see, you just re-entered Castle Canada, all the way from the front, and now you can keep exploring this place all you want, to get beautiful, maybe photo mode shots of Castle Canada, or maybe even do what you wanted to do in the first place, that is, Collect every resource that you miss. Like here, I missed some supplies in my first time. You can go inside houses. Maybe you'll find some leathers. Like right here. Oh, there's an arrow rack. I have full arrows. But yeah, basically that is how you can get steel, iron, linen, and leather if you still need any more uh, even after you completed the main story of Ghost of Tsushima. But I think that is all I have for today guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. That would really be appreciated and make me really happy too. But I think that's all I have for today. So until the next time, I see you guys. Peace out.